Madam Chair. Um, the bipartisan infrastructure law provides funding for NOAA to enhance high performance computing capabilities. Um, uh, Dr. Spinrad, I know you just mentioned in answer to my previous question about some of the work you've done with HPE Cray. Um, it's crucial that NOAA effectively utilizes these resources to bolster its mission of accurate weather forecasting, climate modeling, and environmental research. So I wonder if you could provide us with an update on NOAA's strategies and investments in this particular area. Thank you for the question, Chair Baldwin. Um, when I look at high performance computing, there are a few ways to break that up. And, and, and I did want to bring up what we're doing with respect to the new capabilities of the EGP Cray system. But when you look at uh, it at a sort of a higher strategic level, we use high performance computing to do a number of things, mostly our research activities and our operational activities. Think about what goes on in the lab to build new models for forecasting weather compared to what goes on at, say, the Hurricane Forecast Center or where they're using operational products to put it out. At the same time, I look at our high performance computing in terms of what we call on-prem capability, that is the hardware that we have located at our facilities versus cloud-based computing. And so the resources that we've gotten, not just through uh, BIL, IRA, but also through our regular appropriations are now being used to look at what the appropriate balance in the future is. You asked about strategy. I would hope that when I come back here in three years <laughs> as an NOAA administrator, I'll be able to talk to you about how we are working with the uh, cloud providers, the Amazons, the Microsofts, the IBMs, the rest, to actually do a more efficient balance of cloud-based high-performance computing and on-prem computing, and that we have a well-structured decision process for where we do the processing within that space. And I've asked uh, my Assistant Secretary, Dr. Michael Morgan, to focus on that and develop exactly that strategy. So within NOAA, we're developing concepts for that breakout, looking at the research and the operational requirements and what the balance of cloud-based and on-prem computing will be. Okay, great. I'm gonna sort of uh, have you elaborate a little bit further about the partnerships you've just been describing and collaborations. What opportunities are there uh, that NOAA is exploring with other government agencies research institutions, or private entities to optimize its high-performance computing infrastructure? Are there any ongoing or potential cooperative endeavors that can really amplify uh, NOAA's computing capabilities and facilitate maybe groundbreaking advancements uh, in weather prediction or climate modeling or other relevant domains? Uh, absolutely, and, and, and I'd love to take another three hours and go into gory detail <laughs> on that. The short answer, though, is that we have a number of agreements, including with groups like Microsoft and others, um, and, and it's not just on the computing side and, and the distribution, say, of cloud-based capabilities, but it's also in applications of artificial intelligence, uh, and as you know, the federal government is going through a very rigorous assessment of what's the right place, for example, for generative AI and machine learning and deep learning for a data-rich organization like NOAA, applications of machine learning and deep learning are very, very important new ways forward, groundbreaking approaches to improving our, our capabilities. Uh, I would also add it's not just on the sort of front-end processing piece where we collect data and, and turn it through a system and then get it out, but it's also on the dissemination piece. And I couldn't be prouder of our relationship with partners like Esri, uh, who is uh, the secret sauce in a lot of the portals like the climate mapping for resilience and adaptation product that almost everyone in the country now has been using to determine what is my seasonal outlook for precipitation or what can I expect over the next couple of years in terms of sea level rise. And that partnership with Esri, a private corporation, is one that is uh, paying off enormous dividends and in fact will probably be the mainstay of some additional work that we'll be able to do for even more kinds of products around heat, health, drought, flooding, all of those sort of hazards associated with climate change. Thank you. Um, I want to uh, then ask a future-oriented question about this. So uh, what are your, what's your long-term vision or roadmap for sustaining and expanding your computing infrastructure beyond the immediate appropriations that are available to you. What can you see asking for in the future in terms of investment 
um, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, or, or uh, development in emerging computing technologies, such as quantum computing, an interest I, I have, um, that could further enhance uh, NOAA's capabilities. Yeah, it's interesting. I was going to bring up quantum because one of the interesting dialogues I'm having with the head of NSF is uh, how we can take advantage of the great research that NSF is doing in computing, specifically information technology writ large, uh, and apply that to our capabilities. So I, I think the long-term vision has to start with a requirements basis. So you look at the breadth of our mission responsibilities, whether it's in fisheries, whether it's in terms of ocean prediction, whether it's in terms of climate, uh, what are the computational requirements? And then being able to have a rigorous process that says this is how we are going to allocate resources, uh, again, for cloud-based services, on-prem capability, research, vice operational. Um, and that's my vision, is that we would be able to come in and say if one more dollar came in for high-performance computing, this is the mission space that it would apply to, this is the allocation as associated with on-prem or cloud uh, computing, and oh, by the way, this is how we will work with the private sector as well, because we have a responsibility in the Department of Commerce to stimulate that kind of economic development. So if there's a startup that has a very clever way of using quantum computing to enhance uh, weather forecasting, we want to partner with them as well. Exciting. 